Welcome! This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at here is the new Roku HDMI streaming stick. This is the new quad core one. It um, It's pretty much like the other one, except it's faster. It still connects up with an HDMI. You have to have wireless internet. It has all the features that you would expect from a Roku, including 1080p HD now. And still dual band wireless. So apparently we haven't graduated up from that in the online world yet. This, of course, supports the mobile app. Uh, and just if you're you know in the store and you're looking this over, keep in mind it says that it has you know the free mobile app, and but it says it has voice search. But what they're talking about is that the app itself provides a voice search. The remote, as you're going to see, does not have a microphone on it, so it's not like the Roku 3 remote or the Roku 4 remote. It's got all the same apps that you would expect, but um, so another thing I wanted to point out right here, you see Google Play. That's like the icon for like the Google Play Store, and this doesn't have the Google Play Store on it. It's just a you know, the Google Play video app. So, you know, don't don't expect that all of a sudden you're going to be able to get all these Android apps on the Roku. So let's just open her up real quick. All right. Let's see what we got. Shouldn't be too, too mysterious as to what's in the package. People always comment that I have trouble opening things. <laughs> mm -mm. All right. So, what do we got here? You start off, you got the actual Roku stick, as should be expected since this is the Roku streaming stick. And they give you a little manual. I wish I could say that the manuals were particularly helpful, but I I've never been too amazed, but you know it shows you everything you need as far as you know setting it up, plugging it in. You get an adapter here. The adapter is so that you can plug it into its power cord, which is right here. One end goes into the Roku, one end goes into the power cord. You get your remote. And uh, this is the one with the Google Play button, from what, I, from what I've been told. If you pick the Roku streaming stick up from Walmart, it's going to have a voodoo button in that place. And batteries. So, you know, you can plug the, you can power the remote. So that's good. So you get everything that you need to get started. And that is what you get in the Roku streaming stick box. You get the Roku streaming stick. You get the batteries, you get the remote, and there you go. Now, um, something cool I can point out about the Roku streaming stick is you'll notice that it's very skinny. And, and the reason that's good is because if you've got kind of a crowded TV, if, you know, if you've got a lot of things plugged in, cable box or you know other streaming devices, you're going to want to be able to plug everything in, and this is going to help you do that because it's not going to take up a whole lot of room it's not too bulky and so that's very helpful and you know i'm looking forward to seeing how this works with a quad core processor this is the first you know, roku streaming stick with a quad core processor we tested a quad core processor from honor box the other day on a dongle and that worked out real well so let's take a look and you know we're going to have another video that shows alf its actual performance capabilities. For now, this is a simple unboxing. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the Streaming Advisor's YouTube page. Check us out on the streamingadvisor.com for more written information and videos. Thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.